What's up, modern steaders? Today, we want to talk about growing food with our scrap food that we're just going to throw away, compost, or feed to our chickens anyways. Oh, hey, what's up? We just got back from the post office, and look what's here. Are you going to guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Ha ha ha. Our copy of What Falls from the Sky to give away. Thank you, Esther. This will be going out Saturday to one of you lucky winners. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link the video right here. Go watch it and enter to win. First up is we have this delicious leftover orange organic pepper we got at the grocery store yesterday. We were going to give it to the chickens, but look at all them seeds. There you go. It's organic too, so we're going to take some seeds off. I made some soil blocks. and Let's see if we can grow some free peppers for the summertime. I just made 16 soil blocks up. I'm going to put three or four seeds into each hole. I mean, if they don't grow, it don't matter. It was free anyways. It's going to go to the chicken, so why not try to see if we can grow something. I know a lot of the times we get peppers and tomatoes growing right out of our compost piles after the chickens have eaten all of our food and scraps, so... I don't know if this is a pepper from the United States or if it's from another country. If it's from another country, I was listening to the Michigan Gardener the other day on YouTube and he was saying if produce comes from a different country, they radiate it with a little bit of radiation to kill any bacteria, which will kill and make the seeds not fertile. So if this pepper is from Mexico or somewhere else, it most likely won't sprout, but the sticker has already been taken off and thrown away, so we don't know where it came from. We're just going to take a little bit of time and a little bit of soil blocks and see if it works. We had a potato the other day that was sprouting pretty good, so I cut it up into three different chunks, let it dry out, and I put it in some potting soil. It wasn't a potato that we grew, but it was an organic potato. And organic potato seeds are kind of expensive, so I figured, why not cut it up, put it in some soil, and see if we can get some potato plants from it. Next, we got an onion. We keep our onions hanging up in pantyhose in the basement, and this one started sprouting a little bit. Gina went ahead, wrapped it up in a moist paper towel, see if we can get a couple of bulbs out of it. I think it's starting. I'm thinking we're going to get two out of it if we keep it up. Let's see. It's kind of nasty and slimy right now. But if you look, we got two bulbs. We're going to keep this in water and see if we can germinate two onion plants. We're just going to put our soil blocks and seeds. We're just going to stick our soil blocks and potatoes over here. Put a plastic cover on them, let the humidity get nice and warm, and hopefully within 7 to 10 days, they should start germinating, and we'll have some pepper plants and some potatoes. <laughs> then the last thing I'm going to share with you is, we're growing some chicks from some eggs. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, that could be food scraps. If you had some eggs and you couldn't get to them, they went bad. Put them in your incubator. It's day 14 for us. So in another seven, another week, we should be having some chicks. Woohoo! What have you tried growing from scrap food? I know celery. You can just cut the bottom off of that. Man! Oh man! Oh man! One second. Just my little chicken alarm. Let me know my humidity went down because I opened the cover. So sorry about that. It's good to have the alarm, but. Leave in the comments below what you guys have tried starting from food scraps. I know celery you can do it. We haven't tried it here. Maybe this summer we'll try it. But leave in the comments below. Let us know what you've tried and if it's worked or hasn't worked for you and why you think it has or hasn't. And if you want us to try starting something else from a food scrap, let us know. Leave it in the comments below. Really pretty soon we'll be having some videos for the chicks hatching. Like I said, seven more days and they should be hatching. So. On day 18, we've got to take them out of the egg turners and just put the eggs right on the bottom of the floor of the incubator. 
And then they say around day 19, you should start hearing some chicks start peeping in the eggs. That'd be cool. And if that happens, I'll turn the camera on and let you guys listen to that and see what's going on. I'll see you on Wednesday. We're doing daily videos for the month of April. Just to get us a little bit more friendly with each other, sharing some stories. And if you have any particular questions you'd like to know about us here at Lumna Acres, leave them, on the, leave them in the comments below and we'll try to make a video on it for you. So keep on changing the status quo and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye guys.